Hi everybody, uh, BMW lovers out there, E36 fans, found some of these even up to some of the 745s, uh, the E65, E66, just a little bit different style, same concept. This is here is an oil check valve. This goes in between the cylinder head and the block on the E36 M42 engine that is found in my 90, what, 90, 92 to 93 E36 318IS. The purpose of this valve here is oil pressure comes in through here from the block, goes past this ball and pushes this ball against the spring, and that spring is located inside that little cage allowing oil pressure to flow into the cylinder head. And when there is no pressure present, that little cylinder, the little ball pushes back in the cylinder and should block off the inside of that guy right there. Well, if you guys are experiencing like a knock on startup on the upper end or you know you hear like a lot of valve chatter or lifter lifter noise possibly um, I was experiencing kind of the same issue where every time I started have a little noise on the top like a like a little thud low thud maybe knock almost like and I guess the previous owner had changed out the timing chain guides and just didn't really pay too much attention to everything else well I found a little tiny piece of plastic obstructing the ball from seating in the bottom of this little unit here. And what was happening is every time I'd shut the vehicle off, the oil pressure would bleed back down and not leave the upper portion of the cylinder head primed. So every time I would start, it would take about two or three seconds before I get oil pressure up to the top and eventually started causing damage. So if any of you guys out there have the E36 with the M42, pretty sure it's in the M44, but um, this little valve here is very important to uh, preserve the life of your engine because cold startups are where, you know, the lack of lubrication would definitely cause damage every time you start the car if this valve was failing, and that's kind of what I experienced. It's a very simple concept. Oil pressure comes in through here through this little opening and pushes this ball upward, compressing that spring, which is inside that cage. And then when oil pressure is gone, hence you shut off the car or something of that nature, that little ball is pushed back into place by the spring, and the spring should have that ball seat inside this little portion here. Well, I was finding little tiny bits of plastic and a little chunk of silicone, and I found a bunch of crud was actually jammed in there, causing it to uh, leak all the pressure out. The actual little piece that I found is not present at the moment. I think I dropped it or something. But understanding the way this thing works is very important because most people would overlook this item very easily. And you would never change it if you didn't know it was there because of the simple fact that it's in such a tiny little space that you don't even see it. I chose to dismantle this so I could actually get a better view of it and see you know, what actually caused it to fail. I haven't really seen any videos on this item in particular. So, you know, obviously I've destroyed it by tearing it out of this little case. I could probably machine something here on the, the lathe that I have, but we'll just go buy one. But definitely uh, something to pay attention to. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the actual location on the on the vehicle where it goes. Um, this is on a older block out of an E30, but I drilled and machined a hole into the block to put this unit in there. And it actually goes into this port right here. Normally this port isn't this big. It won't fit in there. I took like an 11 30 seconds drill or something. No, uh, was it like a 23 30 seconds drill bit? And drill about three quarters of an inch in. And then you can see where it's stepped inside there. Let's see if I can get more light in there. You can see where the step is for it in there, and that's actually where it goes. And there's actually a hole in the head gasket where that feeds pressure through. Should be right here. And very important, real quick before I run out of time, let me show the cylinder head where the location of that would be. It's going to be right here. This little uh, that little dash line right there is sitting under there. Oil pressure goes in and comes out. So, good luck, you guys.